What's up guys, it's Shinidi here. And before uh, we get into this video, I do apologize if it comes out a little bit later than the other, or a lot bit later than the other, my last gameplay. Um, long story short, I had to play Limited on current gen, and I don't feel like getting into that situation, but it was brutal. But we did eventually get that ring, so I do apologize for this video coming out a little bit later. But we are doing another gameplay. And a brand new card from the out of position set. So earlier I did a gameplay on a on this Denny of Dia card, and he's great on this gen. But I was using him on current gen. He was literally the only person I could green with. He is unbelievable on current gen. Like he's great on this gen, but he is a definitely a top ten point guard on current gen. Probably still top ten point guard on this gen. I think he's better than Batum on on uh, current gen. By a lot, by a lot, um, but Batum is probably better than the other gen, gen, or a little bit the same. But I'm doing a gameplay on a, on a card that really nobody's talking about, and it is this man. Rest in peace. I think he he passed away last year. Cliff Robinson, um, and he doesn't look too expensive. I mean, at this point in the year, like my MT totals, I, I have a lot. And he's like 26.4, so I'll glad okay, 26.5k, I'll gladly take that. And this guy, he look, he could be really, really good. That's all I'm going to say. That he could be a very good card. So he is, is he a center or a two guard? I know he can play both of those positions. He's a two guard center. Okay, so let's apply contract to him. So Cliff Robinson. I mean, I kind of wish this card could play small forward, I'm not going to lie, because I did need a new small forward, but let's just see how he plays. So, uh, Cliff Robinson, shooting guard from the Portland Trailblazers. Uh, now we got to go all the way back here. He's six foot ten, but I mean, look at his stats. 86 driving lap's a little low, I will be honest. You wish that's a little higher, but pretty solid post game. He's got an 88 mid-range and a 95 three ball. As well as a 95 driving dunk, 90 standing, 86 ball handling. But look at this man's defense. 94 block and steal and 97 perimeter and interior. His defense is very good. As well as that very good rebounding and really solid speed with 97 lateral quickness. We'll just go to the tendencies. 100 driving dunk tendency. And basically perfect um, defense, defensive tendencies. He also has 45 Hall of Fame badges for a Galaxy Opal. That's crazy to me. So he's got catch and shoot, corner specialist, difficult shots, highlight film, pickpocket, pick dodger, rim protector, pick, uh, chase down artist, clamps, uh, heart crusher, interceptor, intimidator, posterizer, rebound chaser, anti freeze, circus, and deep threes, downhill, quick first step, unpluckable, floor general, as well as on gold. He's got drop stepper, dimer. Back down Punisher, handles for days, tight handles, dead eye. I mean, he's got everything. And, like, um, J.R. Smith has how many Hoff badges? 43. So he's got more than some Dark Matters in this game. He's got more than a new Trey Young that came out today. And But it all depends on his release. If his release is good, then he's going to be one of the better Opals, if not one of the best Opals in the game. So he can curry slide. Look, this guy just looks massive. Can I just say that? He is massive. He looks so much bigger than 6'10". I think he's just got, like, a long player build. They're okay. Well, then. Uh, okay, I did not realize this release was this weird. What is that? I mean... Okay. Yeah, that's tough. That's a little tough. I... <laughs> What the hell is that release? He, like, turns his head sideways. Like, what the? I mean, it's not a terrible release. It just looks so weird. But I, it's not bad. It just is so weird looking. Um, But, I mean, he's going to have the SIGs, and he's going to be the dunker, and he's going to be a great defense, a defender. So, I mean... I'm I'm trying to learn how to quick stop. Yeah, I'm tr I'm trying to get better on my quick stopping on this gen. I'm pretty good at it on current gen, but I'm just not great at it on this gen. 
yeah, not great at quick stopping on this gen. Yeah, it's it's tougher on this gen to do. I think you can do it if you have shifty dribble style and quick, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah. But definitely not a bad release. It's just so weird looking. But I think it's very greenable. Um, again, the leaner is the normal one, so not bad. So let's green a three here. And now let's get on to a game of triple threat. I mean, for his price of only 26k, I think he's actually going to be a really good two guard. Like, I don't really need a two guard. I wish he could play small forward, though. If he was a small forward, he'd probably be on my team. If I'm being honest. So, let's play some triple threat online. So, we'll use Avdia. I really like Avdia. Um, we'll use Cliff. He's a center. No, he is a two guard. We'll use Cliff Robinson. And we'll use Bill Russell. Uh, no, we'll use, yeah, we'll use Bill Russell. So, I think he's, he'll probably play the two guard in this game, which is fine. Um... But he'll mostly be handling the ball. But yeah, limited this week was not easy. I was playing a lot of sweats on both gens. I played a little bit on this gen, but then I had to go to current gen. For annoying reasons. And it was not fun. But are we going to get into this game? That is the question. It's not looking too good. Um... Just lag me out or give me a no remaining players glitch at this point, because I'm not getting into this game. So just just give it to me. Just give it to me. So yeah, this is probably a lag out on my part. I will see you in the next game. All right, we've gotten to a game, and I see Ben Simmons, and it is okay. That's Pink Diamond of Dia Chandler Parsons, who I was thinking about doing gameplay on, and uh, yeah. So tough, tough team if that's that is the dark matter. So. I assume he's trying to do points in the paint with Avdia in multiplayer games. That is my assumption. But he did just score with Ben Simmons, so who knows. But Cliff, can we green the first shot? We can't, but we do hit the white. Nice shot there for Cliff Robinson. The release isn't as bad as it looks. Like, it's just, it makes the release look so bad. Um, the Just how it looks, but it's really not as bad as you think. It's just a little bit slow, but there is another three for Cliff Robinson. But yeah, I think he's going to be a lockdown defender. Well, I know he will be a lockdown defender. And he'll, he's going to be a great dunker, so... Block or not. Okay, I so say he's going to be a great defender, and Ben Simmons just glitches by us. I've definitely played this guy before. I feel like I've definitely played this guy before. So dunk that. Easy dunk. Nice dunk there for uh, Cliff. But yeah, these packs, I mean, I feel like they're very underrated. I feel like a lot of these guys are pretty solid players. Like, besides for the Invincibles and Danny Granger, all of these guys are really, really good in my opinion. Um, like, we got Dark, um, Dark Matter Lamar Odom is really good. Like, he's looking like he's probably going to make my team. If he's the right price. Like I saw he was under 200k earlier. So. But great defense by right here by the team. That's not going in. You've got to be kidding me. I've been so mad at this game all day. And you really let that go in. That is so frustrating. And Ben Simmons is now on me. So let's get the screen. Off range. There's a green. Cliff Robinson from deep. Let's go. All right, not a bad start. Great defense. Avdia on Avdia. That's not going in. Boards. Avdia, his stats might not show it, but his defense is unreal. No, bad shot, bad shot. I don't know why I took that shot. I regret it the moment I went for it. But, man, this game is just not liked me today. But there's a steal for Cliff Robinson right into his hands. Um... Oh, go buy him. Go buy him. Dunk that. Home. Cliff Robinson. He's playing really well so far. Alright. Chandler Parsons is honestly a pretty nice card, if I'm not going to lie. But you're not getting by Bill Russell. I'll, show, I'll tell you that much. Let's go. Yeah, and I did just hit level 35 earlier. 
So we are halfway to Dark Matter Luka Doncic, and I'm pumped for that card. Because he is unreal. Why can I not Icon Pass? Oh my gosh. Let's get a pick and roll. Are you giving me space for the idea? Oh, you can't leave him open. You can't leave Cliff Robinson open. Yeah, I'm telling you, if you get used to that jumper, it's nice. It's just so weird looking. And same thing with Avdia's jumper. Like, I was using him a lot this afternoon, and he's one of my favorite cards to use right now. Like, simply put, it's such a great jumper that he has. Green? No. Slightly late. Yeah, I did feel that was a little late there. He wants to get it to Ben. Oh, again. Like, I knew he wanted to get it there, and it's just 2K gave me the worst animation possible. And what the hell was that pass? He's got lockdown takeover, not sharpshooting, which it's not a bad takeover, but it's not a great one. But he is locking down. This card is a lockdown defender, man. Green. No, another side late, but he hits the white. Yeah, he's good. All right, let's go. How is that not a walk out of bounds? But it's fine. We're up by 11, so this game is basically over. Um, that, another steal, man. He is locking up. And a posterizer on Ben Simmons. Okay, Cliff Robinson, 21 points, a rebound, two steals, only missed two shots, three dunks. I mean, he does everything. He's, he's great. He is really good. Like, if I didn't, like... I really wish he could play small four, though. I feel like he'd be such a good small forward. He's a really good two guard, but I just don't need two guards right now. Which is unfortunate. I mean, he's probably, in theory, better than Vince Carter, but I just can't take Vince Carter on my team. Just, I've said it multiple times. He's one of my favorite players of all time, if not my favorite, under Hakeem Olajuwon. So, I mean, yeah. he He's very good. He is very, very good now. Is he worth the 26k mark? Um, Probably. He is probably worth that much. If he were like 5k cheaper though, I'd definitely say just go for him, honestly. Like, his release is so off-putting, like using it just to start with. But like, you were, you were seeing, I was greening it at the end. I didn't try out his post hook. Um, but yeah, Cliff Robinson, definitely a great card. I'm just going to check to see the prices of the other cards right now. Um, so how much is Gran Granger? is basically a buyout. This card's not great. Um, Andre Kirilenko, rightfully so. He's probably the best card in the game. Lamar, oh, oh he's the... Okay, I think I found my new point card. Was unsell, probably shouldn't be too much. Chandler Parsons, probably the same price at... Oh, he's really cheap. Okay, he's a six foot ten point guard. That's like twenty k. And then there's Cliff Robinson. So yeah, definitely a really nice batch of cars that came out today. Uh, be on the lookout for my team adventure coming tomorrow. But yeah, that is going to be the gameplay. Please subscribe, like the video, and tell your friends about it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.